this demonstration, we're going to show how easy it is to use the Excel Report Writer plugin to create financial reports in Infor Cloud Suite Industrial. Here I have some examples of reports that I already have or created, and I'm just going to create a new one to add to my uh, list on my homepage here. So I'm going to start off in Excel, and from here we have a plugin called Infor Cloud Suite. We can either create standard reports from our report wizard that already exists, or in this case, we're going to create one from scratch. So to create this, I'm just in standard Excel. I'm just going to give my report a name. I know that my filter is going to be my fiscal year. And I'm going to use 2017 because I know I have data in my demo database to show for that. And then I'm going to give it some information here. So I want to see my account. I want to see my account description. And then I am going to have my periods uh, 1 through 12. And I'm just going to copy these across. Again, it's all just standard Excel functionality. I'm going to want a total at the end. And I know that the numbers going in here are going to be a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to stretch these columns out a little bit. And I know my account description is going to be a little bit bigger. So we're going to stretch that a hair. And now to get the information out of Cloud Suite Industrial, I'm going to get my account number first. So I'm just going to click in my cell. I'm going to come to my drop down here and I know I'm getting operating expense accounts. So all of these codes come with the add in for Cloud Suite. It's getting it direct from my uh, Cloud Suite Industrial database. So I'm going to get my operating expenses and I say go and that copies the expenses uh, accounts to my clipboard. And now I'm just going to paste it in the cell that I want. And then now I want to associate an account description. It's just a simple Excel formula, but we have Cloud Suite Industrial formulas built in with the plugin. So in my formula, I'm going to choose my Sightline GL Extractor. And I know I'm getting my account description from here, so I'm just going to get my Sightline description. Say OK. The account code that is associated with it is going to be this cell here, that's all I really need. So I'm just going to say, okay, it knows it's a purchase expense and I'm going to copy that formula down. So I get my description for all of my accounts. Now I want to get the GL balance for each one of these periods. So same thing, I'm going to choose my function and now I'm getting my GL. It wants to know the account code to tie it to, which is 5,000. The period to tie it to is up here, this period one and and so on. We'll copy that across. The fiscal year is what I have here as a uh, field that I can change. So as I change this, my data will change uh, for me depending on the year that I choose there. Now, I also want to use Excel functions to determine absolute fields within Excel. Um, for example, this account code up here is A7. Um, but when I copy this down, I want it to automatically know that, you know, the column is going to be A, but the row is going to change. So I want to use the dollar sign in Excel is the absolute symbol to, to let it know that, it, that A is absolute and 7 is going to change. So the, the column is absolute, the row will change. Uh, same thing with the period. I know that it is uh, currently in C6 right here, but that's going to change. It's not going to be C. It's going to, however, it will be row 6. So the, the row 6 is absolute. So we put the dollar sign in front of the six. And with the fiscal year, it's one cell. It's always going to be B3. So I know both column and row are absolute. So I want to put my dollar sign in front of both of those. I say, OK, I get a number here. And now that I have that number, I can copy that across to all of my rows within here. And that's updating for me. And it knows what to do with that. I'm going to copy this entire function down my whole sheet. So it's pulling back all of my numbers for 2017. I can change this to 2018, 2019, 2020, whatever the, the case may be. And of course, my numbers will change because it is a live connection uh, to my tables where it's pulling this data from. I'm not typing any of this data in. This is all coming from my database. I'm just using Excel as my report layer and to to create these reports. And, you know, I'm going to do something like this. And uh, just because I am in Excel and I can format this to look the way I want, maybe I want a, a blue border uh, across there. Maybe blue is a little too dark. Maybe I want gray so that my whoops, 
I want gray so that my numbers show up. And then I can create a total again using standard Excel. I can just put a sum function in here. And I have my summary. And again, I can copy that down and it's summarizing all of my rows, just like I would normally in Excel. And then I might come down to the bottom and just do one last thing down here because I also want to summarize each column. So I'm going to do that same thing using, you know, again, the power of Excel to write reports. It's better than learning, uh, you know, the, the standard report writers or all of the different report writers that may come with ERPs. It's why not just use Excel that everybody uh, already knows. So now I have my, my summaries down at the bottom. And of course I can, I can, you know, give that some, and of course I can change other things. Uh, also, I want to make that just a little bit bigger and I'm going to fold those and my operating expense itself is going to be, uh, you know, I want that to stand out a little bit more. And then I'm going to do, uh, again, because I, I want this to, to look nice also. I'm just going to give it a format of background. So we're going to say that the uh, filler is going to be white. So now I have a nice formatted report. And let me just shrink down some of these because they're a little too wide. There we go. So it fits a little bit nicer on my, on my page here. And... I'm just going to do one last thing here before we move over to Cloud Suite. Uh, let's just give it a color up here. Okay, so now I, I can actually change this. I can change it to, let's say, 2019. And my numbers change for 2019. I'm just going to move it back to 2017. I have more numbers. So now, that, I mean, that's basically it. I now have an operating expense report. The nice thing about this, and I'm just going to save that real quick. The nice thing about this is now I have the ability with that tool, it knows where this number is coming from. So if I want to drill into this number, I simply click the number that I'm questioning that I want to drill into. And maybe it's uh, direct labor expense is a good example because I want to see what my labor compared to my budget amount perhaps might be. So I'm going to drill into this, this period one labor expense and I will go back to my Cloud Suite plugin and I have this drill down capability. I can either show in a worksheet where it'll open up another worksheet and plug in all of those uh, transactions that make up that number or I can go directly into Cloud Suite. And then I can, once I'm in Cloud Suite, I can see all of the data that made up that particular number in that cell that I highlighted. And if I want to see the comparison against my budget, I can go look at my budget and plan. And here I didn't have a budget set up, but here's where I might see what I had budgeted, what my uh, planned change might have been in my budget, and what my actual uh, change was. So I can compare that versus the budget. And of course, my my direct amount is going to be the change because I didn't have a budget, but it's a, a great way to compare that number with what your budget was uh, drilling in all from Excel. So the other thing that we can do now is within uh, Cloud Suite Industrial, I like this report now, and maybe I want to grab it from my uh, home screen within Cloud Suite Industrial instead of having to come out to Excel to do it. So I can do that also. So I'm going to close this and I'm back to my home screen now. And what I want to do is use those Excel reports, but I want them to be managed by my Infor document management system. Okay, so this allows us to keep control and security over those reports. So they're not just Excel reports that anybody can go and grab and run and change. Now we're going to modify them and keep uh, rev changes and security control over those documents. So I'm just going to add my document and I'll, I'll call it a document. And the beauty of this is I can go where I saved it originally and just drag and drop it. So I'm going to grab that operating expense report. And here it is. And now's my chance to give it some attributes so I can filter and, and uh, use it in different places. I'm just using a, an attribute called um, financial reports. And I'm going to save that. So now I have that attribute called financial reports. And what that actually allows me to do 
is have a, a folder over here where it finds all of those. And they're, they're in my Nix reports folder. And here you can see there's my operating expense report. And if I click on that, and if I want to look at it, I can see my information about it. I can look at history. So any changes that are made to this report over time, it has to be checked out, changed and checked back in with proper security. So it locks that report to be built the way it is. So you're not worrying about people manually changing those reports because now it's controlled by document management. And any change that's made to this where it's checked out and checked back in is going to be kept track of. So I can see all of the revisions to this report along the way and revert back to a revision if I wanted to. So maybe I made a change that I didn't like uh, and I wanted to revert back. It makes that uh, very easy with the document management system. Uh, and then, of course, if I wanted to look at it, I can just click on it and go right into uh, that report. And, and here it is. So it's a static report after building it. So you can see how easy it is to build a report from scratch, attach it to my document management system, there's my operating expense report, which I can launch from here now. Thank you for watching.